Today I've come to Sunshine Toyota on the Sunshine Coast and we're viewing the Toyota Fortuna. Let's find out how good it is as a baby drive. In the back of the Fortuna, there are Isofix in the two outer seats in the second row. They're not within plastic guides, but they are nice and easy to connect to. There's top tether anchorages in both the outer seats, right at the bottom underneath of the back. They are quite difficult to access, I've found. The central seat top tether anchorage point is in the ceiling, so that might disturb third row passengers. Now there were no Isofix or top tether anchorages in the third row seats, so I couldn't install child seats back there. Now I found installing child seats in this second row that I could get a combination of three seats, but the three forward facing child seats I had actually don't fit across, mainly because the top of the door here the ceiling slants inwards so the big shoulders of the forward facing seats actually wouldn't fit across. A combination of three narrower child seats probably would fit across but it's definitely a much more comfortable two child seat car. Now legroom is quite good in here, we could get a 180 centimetre driver in the front with a rear facing child seat in the second row and I could sit in the third row behind and I'm 162 centimetres. The second row seats are split 60-40. Now to access the third row, these second row seats tumble forward. So you couldn't have a child seat installed and get into the third row. I also discovered on the 60 split, you couldn't have two child seats installed and just remove this one to access the third row because this would hit on any central child seat installed. There's large storage areas in the third row of the Fortuna. On either side there's a big space that will hold a large refillable water bottle and there's a well on this side where you could put the phone. On the right hand side it's just a big space but a large refillable water bottle fits in there. There are vents in all three rows which is excellent. Storage in the second row of the Fortuna is really good. There are two cup holders in a fold down in the central seat back. They will hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup and a large refillable water bottle fits in there too. There are map pockets on the back of both front seats. They will hold but not conceal an iPad. There's also a little luggage hook here on both back seats. Really handy for holding a bag in place so it doesn't move around. There's a little well in the back of the central console here, you can put a phone or something and you've got a 12 volt socket and a 3 prong socket in the back there too. The door bins are really good size, they will hold a large refillable water bottle and my iPad fits in them and you've got the wells in the door handles. In the front there are two cup holders in the central console here, they will hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup and a large refillable water bottle fits in them too. In front of there, there's a little phone charging well and you've got a USB and 12 volt socket there as well. Behind the gear lever is the central console box, so that's a good size too. In the ceiling, there's a sunglasses holder that's lined so your lenses don't get scratched. Now you've got two glove boxes in the Fortuna. The bottom one is a really good size, it will hold an iPad and my wallet. And the top one is a decent size too, you'd get a wallet and a phone, things like that in there. Now on either end of the dashboard there's also a pop out cup holder which I absolutely love. They are a really good size for a reusable or a disposable coffee cup. The door bins are a good size in the front here too. They'll hold a large refillable water bottle and my iPad fitted and there's the little wells for the handles as well. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot of the Toyota Fortuna. When using five seats it will hold 17 shopping bags or the Mountain Buggy Duet Twin Stroller and 8 shopping bags or the Brightax Flex Tandem Stroller and 10 shopping bags or the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle Single Stroller and 10 shopping bags or the Mountain Buggy Nano Compact Stroller and 15 shopping bags or a large dog. When using all 7 seats it will hold 6 shopping bags or the Mountain Buggy Duet Twin Stroller and 2 shopping bags the Brightax Flex Tandem Stroller fits with no shopping bags. The Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle Single Stroller fits with two shopping bags. Or the Mountain Buggy Nano Compact Stroller fits with three shopping bags. Or a very small dog. The 
Tuner is a nice car to drive, it is enjoyable. Just a little bit loud that engine and feels a little bit tractor-like. The media system in the Fortuna is quite basic, but it is quite nice and easy to navigate. It doesn't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto though. When I put it into reverse, the parking sensor noise can be turned off with a button down by your right knee, and that image is nice and big, but a little bit pixelated. So to sum up with the Toyota Fortuna, it is a good off-road seven-seater for its price. A little bit let down with the practicality of installing those child seats though. But that interior, the storage and legroom and ventilation is very good. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au